Hello. Let's see how to transfer Markdown file into HTML files. This is for people who are going to work together with me to do some codings and enjoy the development. This is not for average people who are looking for easy and fast solution to transfer their markdowns into HTML files. For those people, there are plenty solutions online. And uh, let's start with our code base. Okay, what's Markdown file? Markdown file is a file format. It's actually a text file, and add up some syntax. It's far easy to use comparing to write HTML by hand. Okay, you can get uh, more information about uh, the Markdown file format and the syntax on. This web page, the Daring Fireball. It's Markdown File Formats Creator, their website. They have nearly everything you want to, you need to know about the Markdown File Format. And we are going to use Python to do the file transfer. Basically, Markdown File is text file. For example, the the network is very slow. For example, this is a markdown file. Markdown file is text file. You just write as normal text file for a document, for for some mm, notes during your development, and uh, anything like that. So you write it with any kind of text editor, as long as it's uh, not uh, Office Word, Excel, that's can, such kind of editors, because we don't need any format. We are going to handwrite our text file. And then Markdown file will add some convenient syntax. For example, the, this line is going to be a headline. It's head level one, and uh, we can see a sharp character at uh, the beginning of the of this line. It uh, indicates that this is a headline. What if we want a headline level two? We just add two sharp character at the beginning of the line. It's going to become. Headline level two. The network is very slow because this file actually we are reading and editing it uh, on server directly. So network slow network make it very slow. It's uh, somehow like working on terminal forty years ago when everything need to go through a modem old type modem okay this is headline level two markdown file is as simple as this of course they have plenty other specifications for links for image for anything HMR can do and we do it this way it's text file, but uh, it can be converted to Microsoft uh, Word format. It can be converted to PDF format. And you can use all kind of HTML syntax inside your Markdown files. Okay, This is Markdown file. And the purpose is transfer a folder of th this kind of files into HTML. This kind of task commonly been called the uh, static website generator because each markdown file can be transferred into uh, HTML and it can be served by a server as static files to the browser. Okay, for this kind of tasks, we have plenty options. 
you can find the list of static website generators online. And uh, here we get the uh, GitHub page that you can find the long list of tools to transfer static to generate static file static websites. The famous one is Jekyll. Jekyll should be Ruby. Ruby's application that it can be used to generate the static website and uh, GitHub use Jekyll, use uh, core of Jekyll and modify it a lot to set up their GitHub pages. And uh, you can find the uh, generator from different uh, programming language. I remember there should be Ruby, Python, uh, JavaScript, Go. But Go should have a generator named as Hugo, I remember. And, uh, and PHP and uh, nearly all kind of programming language has its own generator to generate static web pages and nearly all programming language have their own web servers to serve those static websites and our purpose is to generate uh, some of our writings into static web pages and we want to generate a folder and it's subfolder including the image and uh, not only markdown files, image and other small pieces. Maybe we have some style sheets, CSS files, and we have some uh, modified JavaScript files. And maybe we want to generate uh, those JavaScript files from, from with the Babel GS. We pre-compile those JavaScript files to make it browser compatible. And uh, maybe we want to use S A S S R S C S S, uh, and then compile those source file into style sheets CSS dot file, uh, CSS file. Okay, this is our purpose. So we are not going to use those um, available tools because our requirement is specific, and uh, this is the code. The code is the code has been put uh, here. The network is very slow. It's in the repository gg.intro and uh, currently put uh, into subfolder pyb. Its name is do something. So we have do dot uh, 85 something like that because it's still under development and let's see the code we are going to use we are going to use python module markdown there is a python module named markdown it can perform it can perform the task to transfer markdown file into HTML and we are going to use Python's module subprocess. This is a building. This should be a building Python module. And uh, the purpose of this module is for that when we need some fast uh, not very elegant uh, solution to do things for example to transfer those SAS file into CSS file and uh, for example to transfer those uh, mm, to fetch something from other uh, website for example fetch something fetch document from github and uh, sometimes we need to fetch only one file from a GitHub online repository, things like that. For uh, of course, we have uh, we can do it uh, very elegantly. Uh, finish everything in same programming language in 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 Python. In Python, but uh, 
what is far solution is going to be use, using sub process and just the interface to the shell and finish the job and return to Python. Okay, this is why we use sub process. Then let's see the code. This is the uh, end of the code. It means we are going to run our program if name equals main. And how we run it? We can see options. There are five options. Copy tree, template, story, HTML, and index files. Uh, how we use these options? Copy tree means we are going to copy the whole tree structure of the source file. It's, uh, of course, markdown files, folders, subfolders of files, and including images. Maybe we, we, we're editing and composing some beautiful image to explain and insert into our document. We are going to in, uh, include those images. Templates, it means we are going to do our own style sheet. Uh, uh, part of it and uh, JavaScript to control our page itself by our, our own. And story it means if we are going to fetch a uh, uh, story from GitHub and uh, fetch only one file from a repository and put it into our target folder, then HTML means uh, we are going to compile all those files into static HTML files and so it can be very simply served by any kind of web server. Then this, there is index files. It means why the if we are going to recompile uh, for, uh, with uh, our index file, English version or Chinese version. So our requirement is a little bit different from a common task of generate a static file. This is why we're writing code. We are not going to reuse those available tools because we can't. Okay. Uh, all the options set to false by default. It means if we are going to do any task of of it, we are going to specify it clearly in the command line. How we read the command line, I remember we are using a, we are using command line pass. Uh, this is a Python module and it can do the command line pass. It should be a building a building module of Python. Okay, let's test our code. See, we do Python. We call Python to run our code and give it option. All of the option we talked about. Okay, let's see. The first it finish copy tree, it finish prepare template, and then it finish everything. And the, the target folder, the target folder is SEPT. And uh, the root of HTML also SEPT. So we, so let's go to SEPT, see, have a look. Because SCPT has been re delete, removed, and regenerated, so it got this problem. You can see all the HTML file is generated minutes ag seconds ago, and then we are going to run our server. The server already running, and let's see if we get. Uh, the correct uh, result. And uh, you can see in our Markdown, in our Markdown files, we use the uh, underline get.
and uh, to see if our programming is doing correctly we are going to see if we get uh, the underland okay you can see we get no underland gets glugu gets too good okay let's refresh it it's somehow slow because we are in China and let's do it uh, in Firefox I know I put uh, the static file with uh, to this to this folder okay we get the uh, italic of gets good good get to good okay let's see our source source file of the markdown file the network is very slow uh, what we're going to do is we are going to emphasize this word differently no we are not going to do it uh, this way we're going to do into two okay then we are going to recompile our markdown file okay it's finish it should be finished normally because we didn't change any code we just uh, change the markdown file can you see that? Can you see that? Good go get too good. Good go is a new word. It get too good. Yes. Okay. So our code is doing its job. It's not uh, very elegant go code because we just want to do it uh, fast in hours coding instead of developing a framework to do the markdown file and the static file transferring okay this is one piece of code thank you we're going to end this recording